Howdy everybody, it's Aaron, the Soda Jerk, from the SodaJerks.net, here with... It's not really a video review, it's something a little different today. Um, I have a tiny soda fridge. Sometimes I show it in the intro of my videos. But I was thinking, if I had to stock five sodas in my fridge, forever, what would those five sodas be? Now, obviously I'm going to like all five of the sodas, but they may not be my five favorite sodas, because mathematically there should be a variety. That didn't make sense, but roll with it. There should be a variety of sodas in your fridge. If your top five sodas are root beer, you don't want to eternally have five root beers. At least I don't. I would like a little mixture of everything. So, here are the Soda Jerks five forever fridge sodas. Number one, Dr. Pepper. That's very easy. It is literally the only soda that is almost 100% in my fridge at all times. I normally get the little seven and a half ounce cans. That's about right. That's pretty good. Look at that measurement. Um, but 12 ounces makes their way in there. The occasional 20 ounce bottle. It is a Texas staple. It should be an American staple. It is, or a, a global staple. It is unrivaled by any Im imitators. Like, okay, Coke. Coke is very good. But Pepsi is there. RC Cola is there. Um, store brand colas are there. And in some cases, I like them better. Dr. Pepper? There's nothing as good as Dr. Pepper that tries to be Dr. Pepper. There was once a soda called Doc Zola. It gave it a run for its money. It was like Dr. Pepper with a little more cinnamon. It was very good. You can't buy it anymore. So Dr. Pepper is the leader. Number two on this list. Let's go from something that will always be in a top five list of mine. It's Izzy Sparkling Pomegranate. Now, is this a soda? Technically, no. It's a sparkling juice. But from the inception of the site, we've always defined a soda as a carbonated, non-alcoholic flavored beverage. Now, Izzy Sparkling Pomegranate fits that description. I drink it and I feel fancy. I feel so fancy and it's very good. That's the only pomegranate I really ingest. I don't usually have pomegranate on anything else, but that I do. I like the simplistic bottle caps. Um, I like that it's not loaded with sugar. It's just, it's good and it I don't know, I just feel, I feel fancy drinking it. I don't know why. I feel fancy. Number three, Ritos Lime. Ritos is probably the strongest lineup of beverages. I can't think of a stronger lineup of beverages. All of them are good. I'm kind of iffy on the tamarind, but the Mexican Cola, it, it is, it is probably my number two cola as opposed to the cola I have on this list. Um, lime is my favorite fruit soda, but so Jaritos Lime is the best lime soda. The um, Mandarin, wonderful. Um, grapefruit, Tarana. I probably mispronounced that and I apologize, but grapefruit, wonderful. The whole lineup is good. And they all come in cool glass bottles. Um, on social media, they have fun giveaways. I know a lot of them do, but theirs are like beaded koozies and uh, their, their artwork. There's, there's the Haritos in general is a great company. Um, but Haritos Lime, definitely in my forever fridge. All right. Number four is a soda you probably can't get. Uh, it existed in the United States in the mid 90s and then went away. And now you can only buy it in New Zealand. And that's Royal Crown Premium Draft Cola. Um, I like RC Cola. This is not that. Same company, or at least it was. I'm not sure how they relate anymore. But back in the mid-90s, RC Cola made a Premium Draft Cola. And it is phenomenal. It is a very rich cola. Uh, I had one shipped over from New Zealand. It was, I think, $60 to get one bottle over here. Um, I did not... Foot that cost, a nice man in New Zealand did, who used to make sodas, and they were also very good sodas, but 
beside the point. Anyway, Royal Crown Premium Draft Cola is almost so rich, it's almost chocolatey. Like, it is... Oh, it's so good. It's so good, and I'm so mad that you can't have it easily. Um, if you ever get the chance for Royal Crown Premium Draft Cola, please take it, because it's wonderful. The number five... Five soda on my list for my forever fridge is Virgil's Handcrafted Root Beer. That should be probably... I probably should have done this first or second to get it out of the way, because if you've spent any time with the site, you know the reverence I have for that soda. Um, Virgil's Handcrafted Root Beer is a very complex root beer. You can taste a lot of different things in it. I will say it's one of the wintergreen-based... Not base, but wintergreen is a flavor in it, an ingredient in it. So you do taste a bit of that wintergreen. Um, I, div I divide root beer into bite and creamy and Virgil's handcrafted is somewhere in the middle but leans more towards bite due to those ingredients. That said, it's incredibly smooth. It has almost no discernible aftertaste. It's refreshing, which is odd for a root beer, um, but it is one of the best sodas out there and probably my favorite root beer of all time. So there you have it. The SodaTricks.net Forever Fridge. The five in the Forever Fridge. Dr. Pepper, Izzy Sparkling Pomegranate, Haritos Lime, Royal Crown Premium Draft Cola, and Virgil's Handcrafted Root Beer. What are your five? Are there five sodas you want in your forever fridge? Let me know. Tell me in the comments below. Like, scribe, all the... Like, scribe? Like. That's how, you, that's how they say it in slang. Like, scribe. Out. The SodaTricks.net. We've reviewed over 800 sodas. 175-ish, I think. Anyway, you can go to the SodaJerks.net to read those or watch those. The SodaJerks.net! We haven't tried them all yet. 